Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this. So this text typing and changing effect is done entirely using After Effects and it's very easy to create. So let's see how to make this. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and again we will begin by creating a new composition. So let's call this one main width and height will be 19, 20 by 1080 frame rate 30 fps and just click on OK. Now we have our composition. So we're going to create another one for our text. Let's call this one text. Rest of the things will remain same. Just click on OK. Now first I'm going to like select the text tool and we're going to type our characters. So I'm going to type motion graphics and let's just select this and I'm going to align it to the center using the align panel. If I'm not able to see the align panel, you can go to windows and from here you can enable it. Now let's scale this up by pressing S and I'm going to make quite big something like that. Let's place it to the center. Let's make sure that its anchor point is in the center so you can hold on the control key and double click on this so it will make the anchor point in the center perfect so here we have our text now for this example i'm using this norwest regular font but it's completely up to you, you can pick whatever font you want so first i'm going to like zoom in and we're going to like quickly select this and i'm going to like remove the bottom text we are going to focus only on the top one so first let's type m like this now we are going to like leave a couple of frames blank like that so that m will appear and after that we are going to move like four frames let's press select this layer press ctrl shift d now we can select this let's type the second character o let's again move like couple of frames ahead again let's split it let's type t now let's again move so we have to like repeat this step so we have m o t now over here we can type our next character i but as we are changing we are going to like change font of couple of these as well so over here we can change the font for o and let's just pick some of this so i think this looks good just keep on moving and like keep on adding characters and just keep on changing the text or the font so we have m o t i let's type another o and over here we can again like change this font so for this one we can like probably set this to this perfect now again we can like go back move like four frames ahead somewhere around here let's press ctrl shift d so again over here we can type our next character which is n now we can start changing the characters so let's pick different font for t let's pick this one let's move like a couple of frames ahead now we can start changing the fonts one by one so let's change this and i'm going to like set it to something like that perfect so let's move a couple of frames ahead just keep on doing this till you have like different fonts just keep on changing these fonts one by one so i will come back once it is done so now i'm done with my text so if i move you can see that we have a bunch of different layers and at all of these we have like font changing and the letters are appearing like that now in the same way we can add the second text as well so let me just quickly show you how to do that so first i'm going to select one of these press ctrl d to duplicate this let's move this to the very top and i'm going to like change its color so let's just set this to blue let's press enter so we want this to be on the bottom second line so we have g let's duplicate this and let's just type r so here we have like two characters so as we did with this motion text, we are going to do the same thing with the graphics text as well. So I will come back once it is done. So now I'm done with both the text. Now if I press play, you can see we have both the text coming up and after that they are changing. Perfect. But I don't want like these to like come at once so we can have a little bit of offset. So I'm going to like select all of these and let's just move them like somewhere around one second. So first the motion will appear, then the graphics. And there you go. Now we have all the characters. So before we continue, if you enjoy my work and you want to support me, then you can check out my Patreon page. Over there, you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on Patreon. So make sure to check it out. Link for that is in the description. Now let's continue. Now we are done with this and we are ready to give it a 3D look. So let's go to the main, create a new solid. So right click new, let's add a solid. And for this one, we can like make this like dark blue sort of color something like that just click on ok now we can import our text comp 
so we have the text composition now if i press play you can see we have our graphics and we are ready to like change this so first we are going to do a couple of things first i'm going to add 3d depth so for that we can select this press ctrl d to duplicate this now on the bottom one we are going to apply fill and let's drag it over here and i'm going to like change it to like really dark so let's pick this color and after that we can like pick really dark blue sort of like this now after that you can search for cc radial blur so let's search for cc radial blur and let's drag it over here now under this we can change this to fading zoom and amount we can like set this to negative so let's set this to negative 80 sort of thing perfect now we are going to apply one more effect so let's search for curves let's select this drag it over here and i'm going to change this to alpha now just click in the middle and like drag it to the top edge like that so here you can see we are able to see some 3d depth now this is fake but this works for this sort of look so we are going to like also change its angle so i'm going to like place it at the bottom something like that yeah, i think this looks good perfect now i'm going to like distort this as well so for that we can like right click let's add an adjustment layer, or we can like apply the corner pin effect to this as well so let's drag it over here and we are going to like change couple of these properties so i'm going to like squish it from the top and like expand it from the bottom like that so that we have little bit of like this so i'm going to set this value to like 150 and this one we can like subtract 150 from this so minus 150 like that again over here we can like add 150 so this will be like negative 150 and to this one we can like probably add 150 now you can see we have this sort of look perfect now we can copy this corner pin and just paste it onto the bottom layer as well now you can see we have like sort of perspective into our scene now we can select both of these layers let's like move them down yeah i think this looks good perfect so once we're done with this we are ready to add some shadow on beneath this so for that we can select this layer which is this one press ctrl d and let's select this let's call this shadow and on this one we can like play around with the corner pin as well so let's select this and i'm going to like just move it down something like that let's set this to like 800 and this to 800 as well and for the other ones so we have these two we can like probably make them move up something like let's set this to 950 and this value to 950 as well perfect so here we have this now we can press s to scale this up like that now we can play around with their position so we can like probably move these two layers like a little bit up and we can like move this little bit up as well so for this one we can probably change its color so i'm going to like set it to this color and then we can like lower it down little bit something like that yeah i think this looks good perfect so now if i go to the very beginning now if i press play you can see we have this sort of animation and you can see we have everything nicely lined up now again it's up to you you can like play around with the size or you can play around with their depth probably let's place it over here so i think this looks good now if i press play you can see we have our characters coming up and we have them changing perfect now there's one last thing you can apply grid to this let's search for grid and let's drag it over here and i'm going to like change this to normal and for the border i'm going to set this to 0.5 or 1 whatever you want like that now instead of corner we can have a width slider now i can play around with the size of it so i think this looks good we can probably make this to like 0.5 so that we have very subtle graph sort of look so yeah, i think this looks good and we're pretty much done with this now at last we can play it out so here you can see we have created this text morphing sort of animation and it looks very good 
if you have some show reel or something so this is how you can create these kind of animations and the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one Oh, 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 oh,